Welcome to day five. Yes, it's the last day in the week of Anne's Summer Look Week of Webisodes, and hasn't it been fun? Oh, yeah. We're getting ready today. <laughs> Anne has been a stampin' fool. The woman has been so busy. <laughs> With these fabulous new stamp sets from Hot Off the Press, wait till you see them. And, you know, it's really some basic stamping techniques with some fabulous results. That's exactly what we want. Come, Come play, play with, with us. us. Here they are. There are 41 stamps all together. We yes. have two fabulous stamp sets and we have three small stamps. Janie's Girl Frames. With 15 stamps. With 15. <laughs> Botanical Frames. This is one of my favorites. 23. Oh, 23 it. in there. Yes. And then three small stamps. We have the Ice Cream Cone, Vacation, right. I think it's called. And, and Compass. And Compass. Right. So what do we do first? So we're going to go into Janie's Girl Frames, Janie's number Girl one. Frames. So. And this is on a really large, it's a larger sheet. It's eight inches by eight inches right. to accommodate these large focals. And Janie Dawson is such a gifted artist, oh, and we're yeah. just delighted to have her goodies. <laughs> what I love about these is that when Janie first did them years ago, right. there were bo very intricate borders, lots of flowers, lots of dots. Okay. But we really simplified it and created them for stamps because that way it gives you more to color. Great. It uh, gives you better images to color. Great and idea. adding the words sentiments. just can't be That's wrong. That's what I love about hot off the press stamps. You always have several different sentiments so you can mix and match and lots of little embellishments to go. But those girls are just adorable. They're absolutely sweet. And see the little bird? That's, the little bird. We'll just see. I wonder if so this is one. We'll find yeah. out. <laughs> this is one with a little dessert and she's like, oh, oops, like maybe she stuck her finger in it or something. Uh, mm. <laughs> there are uh, two and a half to two and three quarter inches wide so that is I love that one uh, they are the very, clear very nice. silicone stamp right. so that you can see right through them place them right where you want them. and you get a couple of ideas on the back and, and these are particularly fun to color in so that's okay. a great part good idea it. okay so we're going to start with Anne's first and she has placed that little girl with the bunch of bo posies oh. um, into a window I love on that. her card. That's just Very and they sweet. are perfect for this. Anne said, you know, that was a, like a perfect idea with those frames. They naturally lend themselves to that window. And all you have to do is just figure out where you want that. Measure your stamp and then right. cut a window right where you're going to have it and then stamp on the inside. And this is a nice example. This is the little bouquet of flowers, this little mm -hmm. uh, spray that's part of the stamp set. Thanks a bunch. Right. So everything so coordinates. So these are stamped separately yeah. on cardstock. They're colored in with watercolor pencils. This one, I love the little, yeah, the pinks and Wasn't the greens. Wasn't that clever? Did you see right. I just brought that in? Yeah, uh, that was like that. fantastic. It was. So <laughs> <laughs> I love the ribbon going across here, some of the brass jewel border dazzles. A little bit of the suede paper, right. just getting a little bit in there. And then uh, not only the little uh, stamped image, but she's done a piece of the pattern paper right. that's also used. Doesn't on the front. say anything on the inside, so mm -hmm. you can add your own sentiment. And this was done on the Artful Watercolor paper pack, so you're seeing some teals and okay. yellows there. So just beautiful, sweet. sweet. Okay, we just have, I think this is the only one we yeah, have of yes. Janie. Oh, okay. by the way, yeah, each card is individual for that stamp. So that's the Janie stamps. We have okay. one of Janie's. Now we're going to move on. Now we're going into uh, sugary treats. To that small <laughs> ice cream cone stamp. There it is. And this has been done on one of the die cut cards. This is the label swing. Right. And um, that just gives you an area. It gives that, you an opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect to hold the stamps. Now this is with Sweet Life papers, mm -hmm. so you can see the flowers and the border. Which is great because with the small stamp you get a little cherry for the top of your ice cream cone. Well, of course you which do. Which is on there. You get, a, you get an individual one separate too, and you also get the Sweet Life stamp, uh, the, the little uh, sentiment up right. here. Down here you say you see you are sweet. That actually came from the Janie's Girl frame. The one we just showed you. Right. So we've so got the ice cream cone. It has been stamped on two papers. Stamped and then it embossed mm -hmm. with a chestnut a zing chestnut embossing powder. So each of these different papers were stamped on separately and then she cut right. them out and paper pieced them together. I love the chocolate sauce on top of this. And then so on cute. the other side another one just to you know give you lots of variety, lots of choices. <laughs> 
changing the color of the ice cream. That is fun. I love the two patterns of paper here. It looks like it's sitting on a little table. It does, yes. So Very cute. fun, sweet. And also, oh, the yeah, the ribbon. Has, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so having that piece right here and then just attaching right. a bow. Now right. on the label swing card, you get paper patterns that right. leave this nice white mat around the edge of your card so that they're really simple to cut out. Works beautifully. Okay. Now we're going to go into another of the small ones. This right. is the compass. This is the compass. It has that large compass here, which is beautiful. It has an arrow and it has life is an adventure. And here how it is being used. Ooh. <laughs> Just right there. Now, please notice on the background, this is on the trailblazer, how Anne has repeatedly stamped right. and heat embossed, right? Well, no, I stamped. believe, uh, well, the heat embossing <sighs> is here. That's with right. the copper. And down here, it's metallic copper stays on. Okay, so it's been stamped right. with stays on. So very simply, to get that many stamps, it would be a little bit laborious to go through and emboss each yeah, one of those. So use that copper stays on. But I love how she goes along the bottom Isn't and cuts it out as a border. And on the trailblazer, this is on the wood grain paper. Right. How fun to put something on top of it. I don't right. know that I would have ever thought of to, doing that. To think that. of stamping right on top yeah. of it. We usually use it like behind something. Right. Oh, hey, here's a wooden plaque. Right. No, but this is really beautiful. It's gorgeous. And to, as you said, the heat embossing, to really let it shine, right. to have that as your focal. And I love the three elements together. I like that she mixes it. So you've got heat embossing, and you've got oh, just stamped right. and stays on right there, and then the metallic uh, stays on stamping behind. Right, beautifully done. Mix. She's matted uh, all of them on the black suede, again, because that just gives you such a super saturated right. color. It's just a beautiful But she also color. did that with her ribbon. Right. And I think that's just very clear clever, just mm -hmm. nice detail. On the inside, simply a row of those uh, copper. And what's great is covering up just a little bit of the bottom of them with that suede. It's just yeah. a, it's just something you don't always think of. You think, I'm going to see the whole stamp, but you don't have to. Right. Just very, very nice. Very nice. Great. Fun. Okay, now since we're in a traveling mode, okay. we're going to take our suitcase. Uh -huh. Here it is. Okay. And we're going to uh, do a little bit more of fun with it. Right. We're going to be stamping on that highly patterned paper back there with a color that's not too far off of it. You can still see them. I like that. It's a two-tone stamp it's with kind fluid of ghosted, chalking. ghosted, isn't it? Yeah. So that's a cute look. And then down below, she's heat embossed with the gold super fine embossing powder. And on the top and bottom, mm -hmm. she's used the... The um, forest suede right. and some of the... That little one came off. Whoops. Well, in, in, in transport, okay. sometimes they get a little there we messed go. from us. We fixed it, Anne. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, brass jewel border dazzles right. right along that forest suede strip. That's really cute. And one Top of the hand. things that we really appreciate uh, being able to provide is not only the image, because a lot of times in small stamps you'll see an image, but we always right. go the extra mile. So you've got greetings on this. Right. Uh, you saw on this one that there were actually three right. and somewhere on something that I like misplaced. Okay, there you go. You've got those. So yes. it's it's even more. Right. And another thing that I'd like to point out here is the wide ribbon. Ribbon. So that ribbon comes with the trail. These are the trailblazer papers. Okay. And this is from the trailblazer ribbon set. And they are perfectly coordinated to those papers. I love that wide crepe. Just a little knot of it is all you need. Absolutely gorgeous. Right there at the top. You know, a look. <laughs> okay, look close. What right did there. she do? She cut a little slot in the top of the luggage handle. Oh, and to, slipped it through. And tied that right through Of there. course she did. Cute. Of course Adorable. she did. Adorable. I don't think we looked at the inside nope, yet. Nope, let's so open it up. Back up a little bit and open this up for full effect. There we go. <laughs> That's so cute. Greetings, 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 greetings. Lots of luggage yes. going along the luggage rack in the airport. Very, Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun. I think that's really nice because you might think, gee, I can't use this unless I'm traveling. Well, right. not so much. You've no. got lots of uh, opportunity here. Just say a hello. Okay, you're ready Very for sweet. something yes. absolutely gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Just beautiful. This is the new botanical frames, and let me bring them back and in. We really have to get a good look at that stamp we set, too. Do. Yeah, so we'll look at the stamp set. So we've got a large image here. Right. We've got small uh, kind of inches right there. Right. Some words. Some, some sentiments. Some wonderful sentiments. Happy everything. That's just, I love that one. Now, especially. something I want to tell you mm -hmm. is look at these four. 
Now look at them again. Right. Notice they go together to make they one do. flower. So right in the center would be the center of that flower. Right. It's just been cut into four, so that is a unique and pattern right there. Look at the butterfly, how it spans to. Right. It's that butterfly. It's the same one. You could do that as a separate piece and put sure. it on top. Stack it on top of it. So more, this is great. I even love more. It. Grateful for you. It's just got lots of great sentiments. Yes. And of course, ideas on it the back. Does. Okay, and back to that beautiful here's, card. And now she has done done this, you can see that um, she's used the Artful Watercolor Papers right. as her background. And she colored this image in, she stamped it with stays on and colored it in with Spectrum Noir pens, which is okay. always fun. These are great for coloring in. And she just did the flowers and the leaves. That background has the dots, right. so you don't have to do anything with that so unless you great. want to. You don't have to overdo it. But what is really popping on here, besides right. being on the Artful Watercolor Paper Pack, What's popping is these textured iridescent sheets that yes. you see. You get 10 of those. We show these to you. Why? Well, number one, you can't get them anywhere else. <laughs> and number two, because they're just gorgeous. And right. you can do so much with them. You can, but you're going to want to make them go a long way. That's yes. the way, that's okay. what Anne is thinking. And so when you're looking at this card, you might think, oh, it looks like she covered the entire card with it and then put these strips of paper on top of it and matted this. And you could do that. And you could do that. <laughs> But she wanted to make them last longer, so she took a piece of the textured iridescent paper, placed it... Not this one, but pretend it's this one. one. Placed that piece on double-sided adhesive. Right, the double-sided adhesive that comes in the same size. You right. get, I think it's five sheets there. And you could use half of it or yeah. something like that, but it's great. It's double. You peel off one side of that, stick this on, and then she cut it into strips. Right. And used it as borders to remove the, the other piece of adhesive covering on the back and just use them on kind of like dazzle strips from right. the edge of your dazzle sheets. So, Great look. Right. Beautiful. It goes a long way that way. And she's got two of the butterflies down there. Happy everything. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> on the inside, pretty simple. Just having one of the butterflies, more of the border, and more of the so paper. So very simply making something spectacular. You want to see something else with that stamp set? Yes, I do. Okay, here we have scrapbookers. Okay, can you spot the stamps in this page? Yeah, <laughs> and it's easier than it looks because... It because she's got them all over the background. And she's used this on the Artful Watercolor Papers, right. which, number one, you can't go wrong with those papers. But because they have this modeled look, she has stamped on top and using, do you know what she used? Uh, what she used was, I believe, it's it's a fluid chalk ink, okay. and I'm thinking it's Red Barn, or that looks like Red Barn, or okay. maybe Black Cherry. Clear. Okay. Look in the gallery. I'm sorry I did that to you. No, that's all right. <laughs> but she uh, variegated them, or, or moved them, spaced them around, she said. Right. There we go, like a checkerboard. So you've got one in the corner here, and then one space down here. You've got them along here. So think of lines when you're stamping right. these, and then take those four inches that you were talking about, and put them together to make blocks of color, kind of like a quilt. It really is. And look what else she's done with her, her photographs. Mm -hmm. is she's taken this paper, she's taken a different paper and cut that out uh, and placed it on the corner, and then the two photos. Right, and slid them underneath right. that artwork, so that's just... And one over artwork. the other. So, so great very nice. This happened to have been uh, on a wedding. Uh, you could use it, of course, so for so many other oh, things. Sure. So and this is just all about the bridesmaids and the bride. Yes, so. yes. What a beautiful use of that stamp set. They're so, so beautiful. Janie's girls, we have all of the small stamps. All of stamps. the small stamps, and we have those botanical frames. Where stamp did I do set. the botanical frames? Oh, they're we're, lost. we're hiding them. Okay, somewhere. they're somewhere. But, but they they look <laughs> they look like this. See all of that? It's just beautiful with lots of different sentiments. There they are. Thank there you. There it is. Okay, so forty one <laughs> stamps, wow. lots of ideas. Thank you so much for being with us for this week of webisodes. And, and once thank again, you, Anne, what right? a gal. You outdid yourself. Gail's Wonderful. exhausted from doing the demos. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Okay.